Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm going to be doing a drugstore haul slash review. Um, I recently purchased some more new stuff at the drugstore. I did a get ready with me a couple weeks ago, maybe about a month ago now, of some new stuff that's on the market. Um, but I kind of did like a second round <laughs> little haul. So, and I've been playing with these products, so I just thought I would share my thoughts with you guys. And I will be kind of comparing them to the other new products that are on the market as well. So, let's go ahead and just get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and start out with just the face stuff. I only have a couple things. I recently tried this new Master Camo Color Correcting Pen from Maybelline. They have, I want to say, like six different ones. I know they have a yellow, a pink, a green, a red, a purple, and an orange. I think that's like the total that they have. Um, I will link all these products down below for you guys, but this is the apricot one that I got. And so this is just kind of like a little twist up pen. It looks really cool. The applicator is really cool. I'll do a close up for you guys, but it's very orange. So that's what it looks like. And I use this to correct my dark circles. And this is much darker than what I typically use. I typically use more of like a peach kind of color. But actually because of the shade, it does correct the dark circles really, really well, especially when they're very dark. <laughs> so I really appreciate that about this product. And I also like how small the applicator is. So I can get right here in the eyes and just kind of correct right where I want it to. And not a lot of product comes out either when you twist it up. So I like that. I like that you can kind of get a nice precise application because I don't want to be orange, you know, all over my eyes. I just want it to be right where I need it to be. So I really like this. The consistency is really nice. It's thick enough to cover, but it doesn't, it's not like too thick to where it creases. So that was just sitting on my hand a little bit and then I blended it out. And it blended out, but it definitely stayed in place, which again, with a color corrector, I want it, especially if it's darker like this, I want it to stay kind of in place because I don't want all of this to be orange. So I like that it is a little bit more of like a drier formula. It's not super thick and creamy. So I definitely really like this. I would be interested in trying more shades. Okay, another color correcting thing is from Rimmel. And this is the Insta Conceal and Correct little palette here. You get one for dark circles, so that's the peach. You get a redness one, which is green, and then you get the dullness, which is purple. So they also have two just like concealer contouring little palettes, but I didn't pick those up because to be honest, the darker shades looked very warm and I just wasn't a huge fan. But this one I decided to pick up and I'm really, really happy I did. This is probably the best little concealer palette. Um, I have tried the L'Oreal one that came out, I want to say, in around January. And I also did try the Maybelline one. Both of those I, I liked. They were okay, but they weren't my favorite. This one is around, I want to say, five or six bucks. You get, I think, just the shades you need in here. <laughs> I love that you just get like a peach, a green, and a purple. That's kind of like all you need. The, they're so thin, but full coverage. Like, let me do a little swatch a -roo. So they're on the last three fingers right here. As you guys can see, I mean, they are pigmented, but they're super creamy. So I used the peach one to correct, and that's really beautiful. It is more brightening than the Maybelline one, just because it's a brighter peach. The redness I use kind of on like little, you know, blemishes. And the purple I will actually take right here, and then I'll go in with my foundation. So I really like this little palette. I think it's great. I think it's great for beginners because it's just something you just get what you need, and that's, you know, and you can roll with it. And I do like how small and compact it is as well. Okay, moving on. Um, okay, so let's move on to eyes. I tried one of the new Infallible Paint Metallic Eyeshadows from L'Oreal. This one is in Brass Knuckles, and it's just like a bronzy shade. I love this thing, you guys. It is like so metallic, so pigmented. And it's just easy for a, like all over the lid look. I haven't tried more shades of this, um, but I'm definitely excited to. I think they only have about five or six shades in the whole like line as of now. I'm sure they'll come out with more. Um, but these are a really nice consistency. I know probably around this time last year, I think they came out with like their little color reach singles. And those were okay. They weren't like my favorite formula ever. I do like these better. These remind me more of just like the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows, you know, kind of like the pressed pigments. That's what this is, just like in a pressed form already. So I really like that and I'm really excited I picked that shade up in particular just because it's a beautiful bronze. 
Okay, another eye thing um, is the City Mini Palettes from Maybelline. I did use this in that Get Ready With Me. This one is in Downtown Sunrise, but one of my little pans broke. But I recently picked up this one, which is in Chill Brunch Neutrals. And this one is more cool toned. It has the, some of the purples in it. Um, I'm wearing this one today. I have this like nice sparkly champagne right, like all over my lid. And then I blended in some of this on in the crease but I also pulled in this downtown sunrise just for this matte transition shade right there so that is what I did for the eye look today I love it these palettes are so so good you guys I know there are some that are just strictly shimmer both of these you get a mixture of mattes and shimmers so in here you're getting the matte cream and the matte like purple color and then in downtown sunrise you're getting a matte cream a matte transition shade and then a matte brown so I know that some of them are just strictly um, shimmers, and I know they're coming out with just a matte one. It's good That's going to be exclusive at Walgreens, but I love this formula. It's so soft. It reminds me of their Expert Wear eyeshadows and quads, if anyone remembers those. They're just so buttery soft. I love them. The mattes in here are beautiful. Honestly, I will probably purchase the all matte one because I do like the mattes better than the shimmers. The shimmers are good, like don't get me wrong, they're just very like shimmering and like almost sparkly. So I do like them, but the mattes in here, the formula, they're just so, so soft. Like it reminds me of the um, CoverGirl True Naked formula, you know? So they are a little bit powdery, but they blend like a dream. It's beautiful. So I like those too. Um, okay. Let's move on to mascaras. So these actually come out in the fall, like the fall 2017 line from Essence, but I did get them off of Octoly. They are the new Volume Stylist mascaras. You guys know how I feel about my Essence I Heart Extreme Waterproof. Like that is my mascara ride or die. Like I love that mascara. So when I found out that Essence was coming out with more, like mascaras, I was like, oh, and I saw them on Octoly, I was like, I will take those, please. Um, so I'm really excited that I got to try these. I have tried both. So this one is the Lash Extension Mascara, 18 hours with lengthening fibers. And then this one is the Curl and Hold Mascara, also 18 hour wear with micro styling waxes. So the brushes are different. This one, it says it's a fiber releasing extension brush. So it is a thinner brush. Um, and it just doesn't have that long of bristles, but then the curl and hold one, it says it has a fully loaded paddle brush. So this one has like a little dip in it and a lot of product kind of collects in that little dip. So I like both of them. I think they are both beautiful. Um, however, I do like the lash. I just hit myself in the face with it. <laughs> But I will say that I do like the lash extension one just a little bit better because it adds that volume and the length. This one adds the volume. I just don't see as much length as I do with this one. So they're both really good. Honestly, I do have been using both of them and I like both of them. But I just prefer this one better. Now there was another mascara that I recently tried and it's the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I really like this as well. Um, people say it's a dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I don't know. I think I've tried the Better Than Sex like once on randomly. It was my sister's or something. I don't know. The brush looks like that hourglass, you know, brush shape. This one is good too. I really do. I like L'Oreal mascaras and Essence mascaras. Those are kind of like the two brands where, and CoverGirl, Clump Crusher, I mean, let's get real. But <laughs> like L'Oreal and Essence are the two brands. Like I know I will try a mascara and most likely like it. But I will say that I do just like the Essence ones more. Um, I find that they last, the, they hold the curl a little bit better, they don't flake, they last a little bit longer. Um, these are not waterproof, but they don't smudge on me at all. They do have that 18 hour wear in them. So they're not waterproof, but they last a really long time. This is the waterproof one. And again, this one's okay, but I know that the Essence ones are gonna be more inexpensive. So I think I would just go with these because these I know are just really, really good. And this one, it's like, I like my lashes, but these, I love my lashes. You know what I'm saying? So that's how they kind of compare to the new L'Oreal one. Um, okay, eyeliner. This is the Master Precise Ink Metallic Liquid Eyeliner in Cosmic Purple from 
Maybelline. I wore this in a recent Instagram post, and if you don't follow me on social media, I leave all of those down below all the time, so follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. Those are probably the two that I use the most, as well as Twitter, um, but Instagram is probably like my the one I use the most. But So this is in Cosmic Purple, and this is beautiful. I love it so much. They have a lot of other fun colors. Um, and I do, I want to go get them. They do have like, they're metallic, so they have that shine to them. So it's not going to be like a matte liquid line, but I like it. It's something fun and different. Um, I did kind of like a warm and like an orangey plum eye with this and it looked so pretty. And like I said, it was just different and fun. It wasn't your typical black liquid wing, which I love but it's just fun to mix it up every once in a while. I know that they have a gold one. I know they have an aqua one. I definitely want to try the gold. I think that would be really pretty, but I love this purple one. I will say like go, like do it once, let it dry and go over it again to make it the most opaque you can. Um, but it's really pretty and it doesn't smudge or anything like that. The applicator is really nice. It's just a sponge tip, but it comes to a nice point so you can get a really precise line. Um, like I said, I would just go, to go over it twice to make sure it's really opaque, but I think just for a fun liquid liner that you're not going to wear every day, this is a really good buy. Okay, moving on to lip products, which is my fave. This first thing is from Rimmel, and this is the Oh My Gloss Oil Tint. I did get the one Modern Pink, number 300. So this is just a lip oil, and I love getting lip oils in like brighter colors because it adds such a fresh look to the face. So that's what it looks like right there. It's super shiny, as you guys can see. I just love it. It does have a pretty strong, like fruity, sweet scent. Um, so that I'm not a huge fan of, but I love this color. I love the formula. It goes on really even. It lasts, you know, a while for a lip oil. It's very hydrating. I don't think if you have like severely chapped lips to use this, I would use like Aquaphor. But it does moisturize your lips. It's kind of a nice like, if I would wear a liquid lip, I would probably wear this the next day, you know, instead of like, so my lips can kind of stay hydrated and nice. And this color is really nice because it just like freshens up the face and makes it look like really awake and summery, but it's just really easy, you know, it's not like super thick or anything like that. So I really like these. I know they have a lot of different colors, but I was excited about this. Um, okay. The other thing that I picked up was the new L'Oreal Infallible Paints Mattes, and this is in Velvet Pout. It's what I'm wearing all over my lips today. I think it's a really fun, different kind of color. Um, they do have the new metallics out, but if you watched my anti-haul, you know that like I'm not buying those because I don't like metallic lips. I just On me, it, looks like, it just looks weird. I don't like it. Um, but I did pick up one of these. They had a bunch of different shades, a lot of like warmer neutrals. But this one I just kind of thought was different and fun. So it's that typical like squeezy tube, but then you get the doe foot applicator that has a little dip in it so the product can get on really nicely, just like the original infallible paints and the metallic ones. This color though, you guys, is so pretty. And also the formula is really, really good. This one, because it says velvet pout, it does. It feels velvety on the lips. Because it's not like a liquid lip as far as like it goes on liquid and it dries and sets and kind of like takes a lot of the moisture out of your lips. This just kind of sits on top of the lips very nicely. It doesn't like suck all the life out of them. And because it's more of like a moussey type texture, it kind of keeps that moisture there. Now it doesn't moisturize your lips, of course, but it doesn't dry them out either. It's a really good middle ground because it is a moussey type texture. So I love it. It's definitely wear proof. Um, I will say that like when I was eating, like it does, you know, come off in the center and like the edges stay. So I mean, I would definitely like reapply in the center, but I would rather have that than like a bunch of like flakes everywhere and like grossness like I just eh, no this is just this is really good I really like this formula so I will probably be picking up some more colors in my future then the last thing I want to talk about is the new infallible pro matte liquid lipstick from L'Oreal so not to be confused with the pro matte glosses those are very different those are more of like a lip lacquer they don't necessarily they're not like a true liquid lip whereas this one is this is the shade 362 Plum Bum. It's really, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. And you do get like a, you know, a flat applicator that comes to a point. I like this. It's not my favorite. The color is really pretty, 
but the formula is just not my favorite and I think it's probably because I did try this along with it or like at the same time you know what I mean so this isn't a bad liquid lip formula don't get me wrong it's not overly drying or anything like that um, it feels a little gritty it's not the smoothest formula and when you reapply it throughout the day like most liquid lips it feels very crepey and really gross so I just I would wear this again because I do love the color and like I said the formula is not terrible it's just not my favorite I definitely like the new infallible paints mattes better than the pro matte liquid lip so it, it's not that this is bad it's just this is better if that makes any sense and I will say that in comparison to the new super matte inks super stay matte inks from Maybelline um, this is thicker this is a definitely like a way thicker formula whereas these are thin and opaque and you just have to do one swipe and they stay on but they're not overly drying this is a lot thicker a little more drying so I think with these just coming out on the market and these I would say if you want like a true liquid lip go for the super stay matte inks if you want like a more moussey thing go for the infallible mattes or infallible paints mattes such a long name and I would totally just kind of like skip out on the infallible pro matte liquid lipstick I hate to say this but I feel like if this came out on the market without these coming out this would probably like have a better impression on me but because I've already I tried these and I was like these are amazing this didn't really hold up to these so that's just my thoughts on all of the new drugstore stuff I've purchased recently the other stuff I've tried like the fit me powder the hot or vivid hot lacquers from Maybelline um, those I put in some favorites videos the master chrome highlighter I put in a video so you guys know I've been loving that stuff so I didn't mention all of the new stuff out um, I just wanted to talk about the stuff I haven't really talked about here on my channel. So that is what this video was. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you've tried anything new at the drugstore and you are in love with it or it is like terrible and you want to tell us all to stay away, <laughs> leave it in the comments below. I hope you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.